Five kilometres of glorious North Bruny Ocean frontage and a meandering farm entrance are part of what makes this unassuming residence something truly special. The original house dates back to the 1840s, one of the area's first land grants to seafarer Captain James Kelly. The old cottage is humbled by its flash new sibling, the Shearer's Quarters. It's a practical thing that the farm requires. We're on Bruny Island. We can't expect shearers to, to travel and do the job for us. We need somewhere to put them up. And uh, John's provided that in a, well, in a fantastic way. Well, come inside. It's a, it's a house with a view. I'll say. Or a couple. Look at Several. It's designed around the views. That's amazing. Yeah. Have a look at that place. That's, now that's looking back towards the mainland. Yeah, this is Patrick's Bite. We're looking at the, the back of the Tasman Peninsula through there and the, the mouth of the Derwent. The house is three bedrooms, measuring only 130 square metres. And contemplating these walls is like a lesson in geometry. The building itself is not a simple shed. It's actually a large scale joinery project. We knew we had something that was quite unusual in its design. Um, the challenge was to build it and, and, and create what he was hoping to have done. When the build was already underway, he daringly shifted the whole position of the house back seven metres, all for a view. When you're sitting at that dining table, you look straight through there and the centrepiece of that window is the view to the shearing shed. So you're reminding yourself why you're here and it really turns that bit of hillside and, and the shearing shed themselves into like a, a large painting on a wall. Sandcastles, proudly brought to you by HIA, the industry professionals. Mm -hmm.